Welcome everyone, Questine here on Serious Gaming, bringing you guys a walkthrough of XCOM Enemy Unknown on Impossible Difficulty using Iron Man mode. Yeah, skipping the intro cinematic. I'm gonna pick Africa, I think it has the best bonus. Monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. You can get the bonuses of other continents if you manage to build sat satellites on, in every nation on that continent. By the way, uh, you can see the nations that are part of the XCOM project. Um, South America has Brazil and Argentina, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Though the bonus in South America is really shit. In Asia, what do we have? Australia, uh, Japan, India, China, Europe, um, France, Germany, Russia, and uh, Great Britain. Let's begin then. We're heading to South Africa for this one, okay. and we need to get down there fast. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Yeah, I'm on a bridge. Mm -hmm. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Okay, they're gonna attack. I'll have to be. They have a buff they share. If I can kill that guy. Woo! You are so fucking dead. Coming in from I the sides. Gonna throw a grenade at this guy. Batter up. Your hairstyle is shit. And you are so dead. Right. Oh, damn it. Missed. That is not good. You don't say there is a bug with the vehicles here. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. All right, Doc. Good to go. Sorry, but I couldn't give a shit if I destroyed a few bodies. I understand the mentality. What she's talking about. I just don't really care right now. I don't need all that many alien fragments, and obviously I can't kill every single fucking enemy in the mission using grenades. And There's another group of three aliens. Well, actually, two groups of three aliens in this mission. What was that? Oh, actually, this is not a bridge. Use it with another mission. Uh, this is a highway. All right then. The alien sh should be north. Okay. 
sharp. Enemies rolling Wait, up. Your impending death, maybe. All right. He's gonna get buffed, and he's gonna attack. The fact that he could actually get a hit. I was worried she was gonna fall. I've got a visual. Shit. I was worried she was gonna start firing randomly. I've been down here. Negative damage. Yeah, I might just lose this mission. Oh, if they if these two guys actually hit my guys, well. Do I have any more grenades? Oh, that's a good question. Fire. Thank you. <laughs> Screw you! Damn it. Fire in the hole. There's heavy fire in this zone. Watch the flanks. Yeah. Two of my guys are dead. If I fail this first mission, I can just restart. But only this first mission. <laughs> Plus, to one single mission. Because the, the game assumes you fail the campaign. 
and rightly so. I was thinking I might just be able to finish the mission with two people alive, but hey, never mind. Yeah, I failed. Negative damage. And that's a taste of XCOM Impossible difficulty. Your guys miss, the aliens miss less. I'm be surprised if they actually killed her. Here. Well, lovely. That's payback, you son of a bitch. Oh, by the way, if you restart the mission, uh, aliens will be in different positions, I think. Ah! It's done. She was critically wounded, but didn't die. You, that can happen if the enemy doesn't score crit on you. Strike one. This is central. All right. Since I know what I'm, where I am. Don't take any chances. I thought I was on a bridge, not on a highway. This is a highway. I think I'm gonna send two guys here. I'm gonna wait. Before I move there. On oh. Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. to self-destruct okay. when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. You made our death. Well, at least my guy actually hit them. There's still one more. Missed. And again. Target still up. Kick this 
sucker off. They're moving around the side. Down. Four more, by the way. They're backing up. Advance. Open fire. Oh. We more. They're flanking my position. They're trying to flank us. One down. That's a good sign. Take that. Drag out. This is payback. Commander, your men want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Doctor, I couldn't give a shit. I'll get him next time. Will there even be a next time for you? I wonder. Or will he attack? He's gonna attack. As foolish as that is. That's gonna be awesome. Wait till that car blows and kills him. <laughs> that was a, a moment of epic fail from the aliens. Yeah, I'm just gonna park myself right next to this exploding car. What could possibly go wrong? Back online. Right. Right. And there's a bug with the roof of that vehicle. Back in. Rock and roll. One more alien. And the mission is complete. Two aliens were killed, by the way. <laughs> because of exploding cars. I don't take any credit for that. You have no idea how happy I will be if I finish this mission with everyone alive at full HP. What's making that noise? He is. That is not good. Missed. You're all missing. Let's see if this guy can do better. Well, apparently he won't even hit the enemy. Oh, sneaky bastard thinks he can flank me. Well, can't allow that now, can I? Okay. 
looking at? Good work out there, Strike One. Mission if I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good. Okay. That's my base. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Mm-hmm. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Yeah, their hair do. It's just fucking horrible. It makes me want to cry. All right. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Alright. What I want to build are medkits. And then there's research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. All right then. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Commander, I realize our troops have. Fuck you, doctor. I I'm not interested in your complaints about me using explosives. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay, Asia gives you a bonus to the Foundry and the Officer Training School. Europe gives you a bonus to... Um, it gives you a bonus to labs and workshops, the costs for labs and workshops. So what do I want? Well, that's a good question. Let me put it like this. What I pick right now will determine what continent I'll have. Actually, let me look at this. So there's one in Mexico. Alright, I'm gonna ignore that. The North American continent gives you a bonus to aircraft cost. You don't really use aircraft all that much. I know they're, like, they're important. Um, this one is very difficult, so I'll just ignore that. Also, engineers are... No. Uh, okay, these are the four nations of Europe. That's for uh, Asia, there's Australia, Japan, China, India. Uh, 
You know, I want the scientists more than I want the engineers right now. Just because, uh, you know, early on I think it's better to get a few scientists than later on get the engineers more. Because uh, they're more useful. Let me just switch that shotgun. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna stick with Europe. Uh huh. Go team, but first. Just did this. We want to give the med kits to the support because the support has an ability which uh, which you can get, which increases the number of med kits you can use per mission to from one to three, which is really fucking useful. As for the second med kit, give it to the heavy. The rocket launcher of the heavy does nine damage, give or take, so you can wipe, and it does AOE damage, so you can wipe up. Out the entire group of enemies with just one hit. Very useful. What I am missing and what I want definitely is a sniper. Like, that's very important. Anyway, uh, before I actually begin this, I'm going to pause the video. Christine, signing out.